guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be talking about Episode 2 of Season 2 of Scream Queens. Now, if you haven't seen Episode 2 of Season 2 of Scream Queens and you don't want to be spoiled, stop watching the video now, go watch the episode, and then come back. Or if you don't care about being spoiled, keep watching. So here's my review of Episode 2 of Season 2 of Scream Queens. The episode starts off with the detective questioning Chanel No. 5 about what happened to Catherine. But it's clear that no one believes Chanel No. 5's story and thinks she made it up and that she killed Catherine. The Chanel's, Zayday, Dr. Cassidy Cascade, and Dr. Brock Holt are talking to a new patient named Tyler, played by Colton Haynes, who has lumps all over his body and needs a laser to get rid of them, but he doesn't have the money to afford it. Zayday talks to Chamberlain Jackson about how she's suspicious about why Dean Munch opened a hospital and gave her and the Chanel's jobs. She suspects that Dean Munch is up to something, and that they have to figure it out what it is together. Chanel and Dr. Brock Holt are on a movie date, and while there, Dr. Holt's hand starts to grope Chanel, and also takes the candy from someone sitting behind them. But Chanel doesn't really seem to mind. I would be a little creeped out if I was in Chanel's place, but that's just me. Chanel No. 5 tells Tyler that it's impossible for her to get a date and Tyler shows her a picture of what he used to look like before the lumps, and Chanel No. 5 tells him that he looked hot. She also tells him that she's not sure how she's going to do it, but she is going to find him the money for the laser. Chanel is at the hospital at night and hears a scream, and then she sees the Red Devil. After running from him, it's revealed that it's Chad, and it's also revealed that it was Chad who was the Red Devil in the asylum at the end of Season 1. Chad tells Chanel that he wants her back. Chanel, Chad, Dr. Brock Holt, and Dean Munch are talking about a new patient who's Chad's friend, and Dean Munch says they'll be able to help him. Meanwhile, Chad and Dr. Holt are fighting over Chanel. And the way they're fighting over her is pretty funny. Chanel No. 5 makes a video to help Tyler raise money for the laser, but Chanel and Chanel No. 3 tell her that if she gets the money for the laser, then Tyler won't want to be with her, and the best shot she has with Tyler is now. So when he does get the money for the laser, he'll feel obligated to stay with her. Chanel number 5 needs new friends. Zayday and Chamberlain are investigating the hospital's past, and there's another flashback to another Halloween party where the Green Meanie kills the entire staff of the hospital, including Nurse Thomas and Dr. Mike. Before they are killed, Nurse Thomas sees the Green Meanie, and recognizing the mask, tells Dr. Mike that she didn't tell anyone what they did. Zayde and Chamberlain run into Nurse Ingrid Hoffel, and she asks Zayde to tell her information about the Chanel's so she knows where they are at all times. Zayde is suspicious in why Nurse Hoffel wants to know that, so she doesn't tell her anything, and Nurse Hoffel says that she'll find someone else to help her. Chad and Dr. Brockholt are in the showers fighting over Chanel, and Chad says they will compete for Chanel by playing squash, and Dr. Holt agrees. Chanel No. 5 and Tyler are on a date, and Chanel No. 5 tells Tyler that she didn't make up getting attacked. She also tells him that she stopped taking her meds. In the middle of their date, two guys make fun of Tyler, and Chanel No. 5 stands up for him by hitting the guys with her plate. Zayde and Chamberlain confront Dean Munch, and Zayde accuses her that the only reason she opened a hospital and wanted Zayde and the Chanel's to work there was to get rid of them. Dean Munch tells them that she isn't trying to murder anyone, she's trying to save herself. She tells them that there's something wrong with her, but every doctor that she's seen can't find out what it is so she opened the hospital to find a cure. They don't know it, but Nurse Ingrid Hoffel is listening in on their conversation. Dean Munch is walking in the hospital and then sees the Green Meanie. They fight, and she knocks him out. She is about to take off the mask to find out who it is, but then Chanel No. 3 and Dr. Cassidy Cascade show up. She tells them that Chanel No. 5 wasn't lying, but then they hear the elevator, and the Green Meanie is gone. Chad, Dr. Cassidy Cascade, and Dr. Brock Holt are checking on Chad's friend, and Chad notices that one of Dr. Holt's hand is writing something suspicious. Dean Munch is talking to Denise about how to prove she's not the killer, and it's revealed that Denise still thinks Zayde is a killer. Denise tells Dean Munch that the only way to learn about a killer is to get into the mind of a killer. Chad and Dr. Brock Holt are playing squash, and Chad tells Dr. Holt that he's going to be a doctor and Dr. Holt tells Chad to stay away from Chanel. Chanel, Chanel No. 3, Dean Munch, and Denise go to see if they can get any information out of Hester, who seems to know a lot about the Green Meanie, but Hester won't talk unless they get her a room at the hospital and beauty products. Lee Michelle is really good at playing insane. That was 
That was creepy. Chanel number five and Tyler go back to the hospital after their date, and they're about to kiss, but then Chanel and Chanel number three show up and tell them that Tyler passed the test of dating someone who was unattractive. So because of that, they bought him the laser. Chad finds out that Dr. Brockholt's hand used to belong to a squash player who was also a murderer. And when he confronts Dr. Holt, Dr. Holt asks him what he's going to do about it, and Chad tells him he will find out. Sadie and Chamberlain are looking up Dean Munch's symptoms to find out what's wrong with her. And they find out that the reason Dean Munch isn't feeling good is because she ate Kuru when she was in New Guinea, and she has only one year to live. Dean Munch tells them not to tell anyone, but doesn't know that nurse Ingrid Hoffel is listening in on their conversation. Chanel number five and Tyler are talking to each other on video chat. Then Tyler says that he's about to be taken into surgery. Chanel number five is surprised because Tyler's surgery wasn't supposed to be until the next day. She asks Chanel and Chanel number three if they heard anything about Tyler's surgery getting pushed up. And they tell her no, and they also tell her that Dr. Brock Holt and Dr. Gatsby Cascade have already left the hospital. And Chanel number five wonders that if they're not there, then who just took Tyler in for surgery? It's revealed that it's the Green Meanie who's planning on killing Tyler with the laser. Chanel number five, Chanel, and Chanel number three try and run to save Tyler, but they're too late. Chanel tells them that they have another serial killer on their hands. Now, based on the promo for episode three, we know that Chad is going to propose to Chanel and that she accepts. But unfortunately, episode three doesn't air until October 11th, so we have to wait two weeks for that. I don't know who I suspect to be the killer yet, but I do think that Nurse Ingrid Hoffel is up to something, based on wanting to know information about the Chanel's and listening in to Dean Munch's conversations. It's very suspicious. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought about episode 2 of season 2 of Scream Queens.